in quantum mechanics, things can be in di different positions. The wave function predicts how that moves along nicely. But what happens is you get a collapse of the wave function, which tells you, hey, the, let's say the particle is over here, over here. And the idea was the collapse, that moment, when that happens, there's uh, some consciousness in the universe. There's that's a, what he predicted. That's what he predicted. Okay, Other so people were saying consciousness comes from the outside and causes the collapse, but that puts consciousness outside science. It's a dualist position. And Roger came up with a solution, said that the separations are unstable and will collapse and give consciousness. And due to an objective threshold given by the indeterminacy principle, one equation. Okay, and so who is experiencing the consciousness or the qualia when there's a collapse of the wave function? The collapse itself is who's is who what is experiencing. I don't think uh, this is controversial. I don't think there needs to be a separate self. Uh, other people disagree with me on that. Um, but I think if you have a sequence of experiences and memory, you have a self. You know who you are. You know when you wake up in the morning, the same person, moment to moment. So I don't think there's any separate entity as the self. I think just I think you have a sequence of experiences, complex experiences. I should go back and say when, when, when the uh, objective reduction, that's his name for it, objective threshold, when that occurs in the environment, in the, in the chair, anywhere, other than uh, in particular arrangements, it's, the experience is random, fleeting, uh, disconnected, it comes and it goes, it's apparently happening all around us, we never notice, it's like, and that was proto-conscious, so that, they call that proto-conscious. And I liken that to uh, if you go to the symphony and the musicians are tuning their instruments before, and you hear all this, to me, noise. To train the musicians, it's different. But to me, it's like, eh, uh, 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 you know, it's, it's noise. And then they start to play. And it's Brahms or Beethoven or whatever. And, uh, and that's what the brain does. That's what the microtubules do. Orchestrates the objective reduction. Hence, the theory is orchestrated objective reduction. Okay, so... When there's the collapse of the wave function, there's a little bit of consciousness. Um, but if you build a device in the right way where you've got all these microtubules that are guiding this, that are orchestrating this whole thing, then you get something like our yes, consciousness. Yes, and they have, to, they have to be entangled. So the superposition states become part of one, one much more complicated state. So when, you, when we're collapsing our conscious moments now, there's a lot of richness in it. I see you, you see me, I see the stuff behind you, et cetera, et cetera. And so, and there's sound, there's uh, different senses, it's all orchestrated. I would say integrated, but that's a different theory. It's, it's more orchestrated. <laughs>